like presentations and papers. So I only had like two to final like examinations, but then the rest were papers and presentations. I mean, do you ever have teachers or like big football fans, like professors or you know like Ohio State fans that ever say anything about that? Or yeah, not that they would give you special treatment. For right. Yeah. Stuff, they just, just like I like walk. They'll say a good game, Pat. You know, like they're football fans. Some of them are. Some of them don't even know what football is. But yeah, some of them are football fans. I wanted to uh, go back to uh, Notre Dame defensively. Uh, Taylor mentioned there are some similarities in Michigan. Yeah. In terms of their approach, can you explain a little bit of maybe what you see that are similarities between the two? Um, the way they play defense, so they'll run a four down even defense and an odd three man front defense, and they'll they'll split it up about fifty fifty. And, and team up north did that as well. And there's not really any, you know, tell of when they're going to do that. So that's similar to the team up north as well. And just the way they play their linebackers and safeties and similar blitz, blitz patterns and stuff like that, they're when, similar. When you played Michigan, what were you able to take advantage of? Obviously, you played tempo. Yeah. And they really couldn't yeah. substitute, so that caught them in a lot mm -hmm. of things. Were there other things you were able to take advantage of facing that defense that, that I'm not asking to give away trade secrets, but right. just an idea of why that worked? Uh, at Michigan. Like you said, the tempo was working. They were getting tired, and we were in pretty good shape. We were taking advantage of that. Um, we kept hitting them in the mouth. They, you know, they weren't getting set. And we were rolling and rolling, and just we all played well. We were, you know, running plays that worked well against, you know, their scheme that they were running. So that was just it was just working for us. You know, everyone was perimeter was blocking well, and we were hitting the right plays and blocking them well. And like like you said, the tempo. They were, you know, off balance the whole game. Is it almost frustrating to you all as you look back through the season of that performance in the second half, especially playing at tempo, attacking mm -hmm. them? Is there a part of you that just wonders, could we have done that in prior weeks? Could we have been building? Is there a, a part of you that's a little can't, hard to be frustrated about 11 and 1, but right. is there a part of you that feels a little bit of frustration because of that? Yeah, you feel it, but. There's nothing you can do about it now. You know, that's how I take it. You can't dwell about it or be upset about it or whatever. You know, we did what we could with our situation. We did it the best we could, you know, with beating the team up north the way we did it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just got to carry that over to our next game. You used to talk about the way you beat Michigan. I mean, that was, a, you know, a dominant win. What's the, you know, now you've had a little bit of time to reflect on it. I mean, like, how satisfying is that? You know, you're kind of last, potentially, you know, it could be your last game against Michigan. Yeah. Early. Um, yeah. Just one of the biggest ones in decades in that rivalry. And what's that? What's that feel like? I mean, you kind of just put that on them. I mean, you guys know the the rivalry, the team of North rivalry, and and some people will say, you know, that game will make or break your season, no matter what your record is. So to go up there in their place and to do that is just it's unbelievable. It's awesome. Uh, sorry to keep. I'm gonna get one more question for you. Uh, Harping back on this normal human today. Just walk me through like a regular, like a, what's a day like when you wake up? I mean, you, I'm sure like workouts, practice, academics. What's that schedule? Just like walking through your average day. Average day, like during the season? Yeah, during the season when you, you know, have class and work out, all that stuff. Kind of walk me through it. What's your day start like? How's it end? All right, I'll give you a, a Thursday. Thursdays are my favorite. So we have an O-line lift Thursday morning around 6. And all the linemen will come in, all five of us will lift. And... We'll be done. We'll go upstairs. We'll eat, eat some breakfast. And then I'll go home. We usually do a little homework. Maybe we'll take a little nap. And then I have class at like 1240. So I have a nice little break in there. My, my class schedule was nice this year. Um, so I have to go to class, go to the Woody, eat lunch, practice. And then after practice, uh, they always have like a nice catered meal upstairs because it's family day. So we'll decide as an O line, all right, do we want to go upstairs and eat or we, do we want to go to Roosters? So, you know, depending on what it is, we'll go upstairs and eat or we'll go over to Roosters, get some chicken wings to hang out, and then go home and watch Thursday night football and call it a night. So, I mean, like, how long? So you wake up at six, when are you done with like football and all that stuff, like academic football? Stuff? Uh, wake up at like 5.45, and then you're done at like. Practice over what, like six six thirty. Twelve hour work day. Yeah, it's not bad. But when you're younger, your class schedule was a little crazier, and you're like, I had like a nice gap. Like kids are going the whole time, you know. And that's that was hard. But now you're older. Like I had like an online class. I'll just do, and my class schedule is almost done. So it's a little lighter load. But yeah, when, um, yeah, this one campaigns class. Um. We had like develop a like a public 
campaign for this new like upcoming business in Columbus, Order Up. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but we had to like develop a campaign to try and like raise awareness and raise action. Like they had a they had a goal to come in and like raise three, raise their sales over 300 a day, and we had like come up with this big idea of with a budget and how to like you know increase that. So it was pretty cool, like a real life application type of deal. That was fun.